I've been debating the Toot Chaos. I have definitely been debating it. Also, hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome in. I am Amur in the Blue Cat, and we're gonna play some more Persona. What? Oh, I dropped a piece of ice earlier, because I'm fucking stupid. Uh, let's go to the top real quick before we even get started. We got Phoenix got first. Oh no, is Arthur sick? <laughs> I said a random day. I didn't say today. <laughs> Listless got third. Broody got second, even though Broody picked it after Listless. Listless just didn't want to risk it. How is everyone doing today? Oh, you got your ads back, Listless? Let's go. You're squeaking out. I literally responded to that, but here I am, being stupid. Our favorite mousey took today off. Let's go. You always choose third, even if you're first. Hell yeah. Hey, it's Anja. How you doing today? Our favorite pesty. Come on, let me in the game. There ain't no way we're already doing this. Hey, buffer time is over. We hate buffer time. No, we hate buffer time. I Means Marinette's acting off. We hate buffer time. We hate buffer time. Alrighty. Uh, it's been a week. Me a drinking game out of buffer time. That's crazy. I love that. Was I supposed to do something today? gonna be a celebration at the dorm tonight. Should I go back to the dorm? Ah! I left on a silly. I gave us a fat cliffhanger last time. Holy shit. Damn, this is some primo sushi. Oh, I forgot it was sushi party. The slices are huge. Man, I'm starving. Hello, Can we eat? Hi, hey, Hampy. Where are I Gison and Ikutsuki san? He took it to the lab for a tuna or something. Speaking of Hempy, I do believe Hempy is currently live. So I'm gonna pop over there and smack him. Ah! I didn't mute Twitch. I'm gonna pop over there, smack him with a first. I'm gonna smack him with a dance. All right, we're happy. Actually, you know what? We must bully Hempy. Get your sippy on. All right, there we go. And <laughs> be like, I hate you. <laughs> God damn it, listless. He said they'll join us later. I had to go bully Hempy for a second. Stay away from the lab, can he? I'm listening. That must be my father. Father. Been waiting for no one you. said you weren't allowed. So it's finally over then. That's right. Who's he? Can't you tell? That's Kirijo Senpai's dad. She looks exactly like him. Especially the eye patch. Y you think so? <laughs> oh no. You're naked and afraid. Well, no words can express my gratitude. Though you'll never receive the recognition you deserve, your achievement was truly monumental. Thank you, really. <laughs> to you, I owe a special thanks for lending us your power until the very end. Oh, it was no big deal. Thanks to you, the 12 shadows behind all this chaos have been destroyed. You've carried this burden long enough. 
You deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth. As of midnight tonight, the specialized extracurricular execution squad will be disbanded. Disbanded? Oh, right. No longer must you risk your lives in battle. Tomorrow, you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. Is something the matter? Yeah, it's nothing. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits. And don't worry about holding back. Eat as much as you'd like. Absolutely. Sweet! We can finally... Listen up, everyone. You didn't finish your sushi. Now that we're good and stuffed, how about we take a picture together? A picture? Actually, I did try to take one last night. Except I forgot it doesn't work during the dark hour. You mean you brought a camera with you to the battle? Well, yeah. I mean, it was our That's five battle. pieces too many. Excuse me, mister. You mind taking our picture? Ugh, I feel like such a tourist. But, you know, I do kind of want a picture, too. Yeah, you little tourist. Oh, wait. Kutsuki san and Igus aren't here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. All right, everyone, get together. Come on, squeeze in tight. Everyone, get the <laughs> <laughs> he fucking, He's holding up Koromaru. <laughs> he's just holding him up. He's holding the dog up. Wait all day. <laughs> hey, we're good to go. You can take the picture whenever. I love it. How's this for a pose? Yeah, hey, get your hand out of my face. Yes. <laughs> the perfect. Is it just me? Or the perfect picture. We'll just take another one when I guess and Akutsuki san get back. All right. Yes, yes, we hear you. I could really get used to this worry-free lifestyle. Bark! Bark! How about you, Koro-chan? Are you excited for all this meat? <laughs> Jinx, never. Celebration party continues. I spent a moment of relaxation with my battle-weary friends. All of it. I wonder where the other three ranks come from. Oh, well, it's probably not important. Hey, Why did we gain sushi? Now there's like 10 pieces. Are you kidding? I'm stuffed. Better unstuff and eat the rest of it. I'm good for now. Eh, it yourself. Bunch of babies. For Maru, you hungry? Don't give the dog raw fish, you'll make him sick. <laughs> <laughs> Poor baby. I guess an Akuski san sure are running late. Just look at the time. It's almost midnight. What the fuck? The hell? Those guys in the suits transmogrified. <laughs> but we killed Are them. Still happening? Senpai, what's going on? I'm not sure. I guess I was right to have my doubts. Yeah, something didn't feel right. Shadow Elm. Say what? Hey, do you hear that? It sounds like a bell, but where's it coming from? Where is Ikutsuki? And he hasn't even called. What could he be doing with Igis that's making him so late? 
That is a good question. Mitsuru. Everyone, prepare to move out. We're heading for Tartarus. Tartarus? Um, to do what? That's a good question. I don't know, but that's where the sound is coming from. We have to find out what's going on. Yakutsuki-san. I guess? What are you doing here? <sighs> her face looks silly. She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? What? Yakutsuki-san! What are you trying to pull? You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why... What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the shadows, getting rid of the dark hour. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Kirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. No. You tricked us? It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What? What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death, the Almighty shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you saying? Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? You see, I, too, was a scientist on the project ten years ago. The experiment did go awry, but that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many shadows. To initiate the fall. That can't be! Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. Thank you for the lurk list. Let's have a good rest of your day. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The attempt years ago failed, but the time has come at last. I am that prince. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you, but all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer, and you too will find salvation. Find it how? By dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad, he said the shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie too? Ah, uh, that was in fact his recording. Of course I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. He didn't know me at the time, but I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. What? 
He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. So you were behind it all? You used my dad! And me too! Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you... <sighs> I was hoping you'd be able to see the light. But you are just kids, after all. Maybe my expectations were too high. I guess it's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. I guess what's wrong? I guess please. Engaging. The Gecko Khan High School Observatory, now a part of Tartarus. What's going on here? Seems I was unconscious. What the hell? Shadow Well? exactly what it looks like. They are our sacrifices. Harbingers of the fall. All the pieces are in place. And now, the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? Bastard! You're full of shit! My, my, how lively. I guess... Affirmative. Father! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. You fool. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. What are you doing, I guess? I. I. Fine, I'll do it myself. Ten years. I've wasted ten long years. I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions. <sighs> Ooh, cutscene. No me next, Pesty. I volunteer. Hey, come on, I know you wouldn't do this. Do it, I guess. Do me first, me first.
Ah. What the? I guess. What? Father. You good for nothing failure of a machine. I'll do it. <laughs> good boy. It's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this is to start over! That's a lot. Yes. Yes, I was chosen. I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> what a shame. I was so close. <laughs> Friend, are you okay? How did it come to this? But Vern, if you got hit, it's it's like the same size as you. There'd be nothing left. Ikutsuki son, father, father. Father. My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger, even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I became a Persona user so I could protect him. <laughs> Mitsuru slumped to the floor, crying like a child. Soon, the dark hour will end. Sonata picked up the stunned Mitsuru. Everyone returned to the dormitory in silence. Fucking fair. <laughs> Yesterday was a shocking turn of events. Hey Largo, how's it going? Wonder if Mitsuru will be alright. It's gonna happen to us all now. Ooh, Dune 2, nice! I haven't even seen the first one. <laughs> hey, Broody, how's it going? Did you hear? The student council president's father died from an illness, right? Yes, an illness. Bullets are now classified as illnesses. I can't even imagine what it's like to lose both parents. Yeah, I think I'll help my mom with some chores when I get home. Don't fall in, Broody. There's a Dune tabletop RPG. Didn't even know. Didn't know that either. It's a message from Sonata. Want to touch base with everyone where we're at? Come to the lounge as soon as you get back. Oh, we lose today. Okay. Looks like they cleared out the chairman's room. Good. Fuck that guy. Well, no surprise there. Ikus isn't here either. I just can't believe all this. <laughs> it's in the papers, too. Kirijo Group CEO dies suddenly. They're blaming it on an illness, though. <sighs> yeah, it's never the truth. <sighs> nope. Kirijo Senpai is not here, huh? She's an only child, so there's a lot to be settled. 
like the funeral and the family business. She'll probably have her hands full for at least a week. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. So, what are we supposed to do now? <gasps> what all happened to Chidori? Who? No word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of panic. I hope I guess is okay. Yeah. Man. I want to hear what they have to say, but they haven't made a peep. Am I supposed to just wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru is meeting with the company execs. It might explain the delay. Yeah. But still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know who to fight now. He kept saying stuff about the fall. What would have happened if we were sacrificed? I can't even imagine. <sighs> so many unanswered <laughs> questions. Yeah. But standing around here isn't going to solve anything, right? True. But there is one thing we know. Tartarus is still around and shadows are swarming the place. We should train so we're ready for whatever we might be up against. Right. All right, that's it for tonight. Try to get some rest, even if you can't sleep. Okay. Roger that. Oh, right! Yukari-chan! What's this? A disc? Um, there were traces of a video on the chairman's PC. A lot was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. And, well, I think it's something you need to see. <sighs> Thanks, Spooka. I'll be sure to watch this later. Mm hmm. Just don't forget. So it's just a normal DVD? We are going to hang out while ads are rolling. Because we are in, uh, we are in storyland. So we are going to sit here while ads roll. Toot, hey monkey. I see your toot monkey. How are you doing monkey? <clears throat> Absolutely, as opposed to an abnormal DVD. Seven, six, five. All right, boys, ads are over. Back to it. All right, let's see what's on here. Oh, there we go. I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Isn't this that video? My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. That's why I had to do something to put a stop to it. However, in doing so, I released a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Please, you need to listen very carefully. Whatever you do, it is imperative that you do not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Uh-huh. This part's... I wasn't able to do anything to stop this madness. He won't listen to a word I say. He's been seduced by the devil's temptations. Those monsters will try to reunite and become one again. If they succeed, then we're all doomed. I'll say it once more. Do not go after the shadows that were released. This is the original video. The real one, before Gutsky went and tampered with it. But Dad was trying to put a stop to the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I have just one request. Whoever finds this, please give my daughter Yukari this message. 
I know I promised I'd be home soon. And I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know, as your father, I was never happier in my life than when I was with you. This really is my dad. I love you, Yukari. Please, take care of yourself. Well, shit. For sure now. I was right to believe in you. I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. Ayo hey, awakening, let's go. Io has become Isis. Ooh, concentrate for everybody, dope. I'll fight for what I believe in. That's what you would have wanted. Right, Dad? Uh, we're gonna skip Tartarus today. Is there anything I can really do? Hmm. Not really. We could always go to Polonia and go raise a random stat. I guess it's whichever one I have uh, equipped. I didn't think of that. Yep, equip Persona three. God damn. That's kind of dumb. I love that. I love that. Welcome. Oh, hey guys. As I'm sure you are aware. You are currently in a dream. Well, I didn't go in the door, so yeah. There has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? I think so. I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. Hey, Flamestar, how's it going? That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing. You mustn't forget. Oh, it's the contract. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, I'm going to blow up the earth must bear the responsibility for your actions no matter what sort of end they may bring about please do keep that in mind are you winning then, i bid you farewell yeah fury oh we're back here Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. Hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. Huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear, this pain. Junpei, in two years, what will you be doing? In two years? That's kind of specific. I, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, 
hurting yourself. Hey, sexy, how's it going? What's up, my friend? Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me. Tune pay, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Just chilling, hell yeah. This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit, but now it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Everything you do is wrong. Junpei. Don't come here anymore. Chidori. But why? <laughs> My man reversed his own social link. God damn. Let's go check Polonia real quick. Probably go Bebe today. We haven't done them in a while. I'm looking forward to All right, what do you want? Here are Toot. Your requests. Of course. By all means. <coughs> Tempest slash, huh? Ooh, death, Alice. Greedy Shadow. Go clean a restroom? What the fuck? Port Island Station's restroom. I will await a report of my apologies. The hell's an Odin juice? Near persimmon tree. <laughs> Alright, there's a few things we got here. Let's see if she wants to go out. Nope. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. There's a bunch of random shit we can do today, then. Let's go ahead and get started. Did you say Port Island Station? I can't say I remember. can't come in here I'm still scrubbing the floors huh you're not here to use the toilet oh okay so you're here to help out huh wow you even brought your own brush came pretty you really came prepared didn't you my favorite persona pro tag currently it's Joker but I've spent the most time with Joker because I did a lot of prep for when I streamed P5. Of course, Mona is the best. Absolutely. Yeah. 
You can eat off the floor, boys. I did it. I do like drinks. Kansai only drinks so rare. She doesn't seem interested in the drinks I can buy here. Oh, I can't go anywhere special, right? I get a maid outfit. I hope I get to wear it. Very well. Mm. All right, let's go hang out with baby. Spreading democracy. Damn, I'm missing democracy? Oh well. It happens. Hydrate. I can do that. Off to Homek. Yes. <coughs> Sorry, I'm alive. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of this. It's tragic. I'm super, I'm super close to the end of this and I'm trying to finish it. I say that, but we've probably got three or four more streams. Uh, oops. Sure, let's go. Oh, you are my hero, Katasha Kanai. Takora, let's be off then. We'll go together, my Tomodachi. Mm. The Azuki desserts here are amazing. Red bean is so oishi. Are you good, friend? I love the culture of Nihon. Japan is sugoi. Amazing. Uh, hell yeah. Yes, you understand. Japanese culture is number one. Ichiban. I am so happy I came here. I want to learn everything about Nihon and become Japanese. Thank you for joining me today. I won't forget your kindness. I have an aunt who lives back home. She has been helping me. I have to tell her that I've made a wonderful new Tamodachi. Well, they sort of have voice acting. <laughs> Keyword sort of. Hey, Llama, how's it going? Fun, fun fact, the, uh, instead of I'll be back in the original, you could have him say hasta la vista. And, uh, that's what I had him say every time he left. 
Oh, hell. I parted ways with Bebe and went back to the dorm. <laughs> Fantastic. God damn it. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. Uh huh, what happened to Tartarus? I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. Uh huh. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. Dope. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well, thank you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. No, you have a safe journey. Stop calling me. Crazy imaginary door lady. Looks like Mitsuru won't be coming back for a while. I'd like to think that she'll be okay, but I'm not so sure this time. So no Tartarus! Hi, doggy! Kurumaru seems to be happy after eating his fill of dog food. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. Come on! <laughs> It looks like he thinks I'm hungry. Koromaru is giving me a meaningful stare, his eyes full of sympathy. The hero. I think he's trying to share his dog food with me. Maybe I should accept it. Hey, Reverie, how you doing? Ah, uh, it's gonna waste days. Yeah, I just have to waste days. No, it had to have been a sound in game. I heard a sound in my brain said it was my cat, but I heard it in my right ear. So it couldn't have been my cat. Eh, yeah, let's get agility. You're gonna move your setup to your mom's office so you get closer to the dogs while she's out of work for the week? Out of town? I said work. Silly, silly brain. Good job, brain. I'm proud of you. My guy was Tokyo Drift and Hardcore. Ooh, more gossiping! We love gossiping. Cheese. Someone with apathy syndrome at my cram school, too. You know what? I heard that this city isn't the only one affected. It's also happening in other places. Well, what's gonna happen to this country? What? Come on, don't say such scary things. I'm sure someone will take care of it. Eh, it couldn't be me. She has a much nicer, bigger desk than you. <laughs> she hardly uses it. Her chair has arms and is more comfy. Hell yes. Oh, it's your favorite. Today we'll be examining regional forms of magic. First up is India, one of the birthplaces of magic. You may not think of India as an especially magical place, but it most assuredly is. Uh, consider how esoteric Buddhist magic came from India. It was a de- Why is- why could my brain not read the word definite? It was a definite influence on, uh, Gnosticism. And a foundation of modern day, th uh, theosophy. I hate reading his shit because he makes me use my brain and it's empty. It's even said that the- uh, yeah. Upanishads? I don't fucking know. Part of the Vedas? Also don't know. Are the original books of magic. Many ancient Indians were passionate in their search for magic. These Indian magicians emerged in similar circumstances as other places around the world. My brain stopped working! <laughs> in India, it's traditional to lead a pious life. But eventually, some people claim to have gained immense power through to... Tapasya? I, again. I can't pronounce a fucking word he wants me to say. I kind of wish he was voiced. 
At first, their claims were rejected, but they slowly gained power and numbers. Eventually, they were accepted into common practice. These are the... Aceticists? More words I ha can't pronounce. <laughs> However, any normal human wouldn't be readily able to mimic their skills. Those known as the Tapasa have surpassed the limitations of humanity. Do you think you could fast and pray for months at a time without e eating or sleeping? You'd die before attaining any powers at all. So, it's understandable that the Buddha rejected such extreme asceticism. Of course, the Upanishads aren't all about their uh, such radical practices. They contain very practical methods, too. Yoga, for instance, was also introduced through these scriptures. Fuck! I can't read today, boys. I picked a I picked a wrong day to be playing Persona. Say, are you all listening? No out-of-body projections now. Better test to see if you were paying attention. Get it wrong, and you'd better be ready for a heaping dose of bad karma. Okay, then. Alright, it's always me. It's always me. Uh, this one. In Persona's world, only the French are voiced. The goddamn French, they're at it again. Moving on, there are many different schools of yoga and near countless asanas or poses being taught. Uh, some asanas are for health while others are for prayer. One important branch is Hatha. Hatha yoga, a type of yoga where, that many people are already familiar with today. In this branch, one cultivates a healthy body to attain purity of mind. I butchered half of that. Let's go, boys. Oh, you have Vert? That's neat. All right, what we got? All three of them are ready. I can do a turn in here. We don't voice crazy mad scientists. It's just the French. Don't eat the dog food. I get a bone. Let's go. Featherman R action figure. I will await a report of success. Very well then. Do I need to be in the 60s to get, um, Alice? This one, yes. Well, not this one, but FES way back when. However, that was like 15 years ago. No practice. Go hang out with Yuko. Hi, Yuko. <laughs> cool. How about we head to Chagall? We can take our time chatting there. Are you saying that the math problem wasn't beautiful? Are you... Blasphemy. Uh, you're so hardworking. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and I got yelled at by a coda. Give me one second. My brain has told me there's a thing I haven't done that I should do. Okay, I did the thing. 
Hey, thank you, sexy. Actually, before you go, give me a second. Okay, things are done. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about later, sexy. Have a good rest of your day, friend. You're glum and you're gonna eat a giant bowl of rotini? Fuck, I'm coming over. I don't know, sexy. You tell me what happened. Nobody tell him. Let him figure it out. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize... <laughs> Salty and glum together. Let's go. ...people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? Uh... An instructor? Yeah, there you go. Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and can't work out hours, hell yeah. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn twenty. Have a good time, Milo. No, I appreciate you sexy. Education requirements and the classes <coughs> the major suffering. It's going to be over 350 hours. That's why I'm going to start studying right now. Improving my Damn ads. Is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day, and I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. You hadn't been there with me. I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, <laughs> thanks. Cat goes burr. Yuko seems appreciative. Feel like her relationship has grown. Catch you later, dude. Have a good rest of your day. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> So, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. Kitten go zoom. I don't mind. Why are you so nice to me? That's a good question. Yuko seems restless. Better choose my words carefully here. Come to think of it, I have a special relationship with another person already. Are you like this just with me? No, no, that, that can't be it, huh? We're gonna turn this into a tradition where we're always a piece of shit. It started with Persona 5. I'm gonna go through it on Persona 3. <laughs> you mean me? And then we'll do it on Persona 4 as well. Uh, uh, are, are you sure? I'm not girly or anything like that, you know? What's happening? <laughs> Is this a dream? Say it again. Uh, um, me. Me too. Get embarrassed, nerd. Yuko's face is bright red. I feel the same way as you do. That's why I'm so happy. Thank you. I've entered a special relationship with Yuko. There's no going back now. Uh, I have to go. I've got to study. We have to make sure they don't ever meet each other. Saying goodbye to Yuko, I decided to go back to the dorm. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, welcome back. Ah, oh, hello. Do you want to hang out? Yes, you. Oh, hello. 
you have a quest item for me. Give me. Give me. Yes, give me your Featherman R doll. B gummy gum? G gummy gum. Gummy gum. Thank you for the figure. I absolutely love Fe Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Am I the one that's allowed to wear the maid outfit? God damn it! Yukari's not wearing my maid outfit. It's mine. It's bullshit. Come on, Koromaru. We're going out. Well, let me wear my fucking maid outfit. Oh, hey. That's right. You walk your dog around this time. I'm just out for a light run. Felt like I needed a little more after club practice. Ugh, it's kind of chilly just standing around. Wanna do some stair laps over there? Burke! Oh, welcome back. You've got some pretty good form there. I should get back to my run. I'll see you later. We love our Barky dog. He's so silly. <coughs> Damn it. Hello? Oh, it's Sunday. Uh, of course I'm free. I'm always free. Actually, there's nothing to do on Sundays either, is there? Fuck. Oh boy, it's time for my favorite time of the week. It's time to give Tanaka all my money. I'll take 12. We're just buying them all. We don't care what they are. We're buying all of them. Right, let's go turn this in. Good day. Hi, Elizabeth. I finished your quest. Oh, my. I get a sacrificial idol. I wonder what that's for. And we'll find out later. <laughs> when we go talk to NPCs, I'm just kind of skimming it. There's so much dialogue in this game that I would probably lose my mind if I tried to read it all. There's a guy following you? Where? <gasps> Cat loving boy! We're friends. Speaking of cat! His fur is standing, standing upright. He seemed to be bothered by something. Poor baby. What are you doing to that poor baby? Yo. Do I have... Aha! I do have a star. <laughs> Takayaki, fresh off the stove. Let's go. This is so good. Are you going to actually eat it this time, or are you just going to shovel? I am so lucky I get to eat such amazing food. I have been. Should I bring some home? If I do, I'd have to pay for it. Hmm. Oh, rough. Absolutely fucking rough. 
Uh, what was it? Yeah, do it. Yeah, I will. It feels wrong being the only one who gets to eat. Oh, by the way, about my mom. I can't get a platinum. I'm on Steam. Guess when I was finally getting the hang of taking care of everyone myself. And guess what else? My teammates offered to help me with the kids too. They even said to pick my sister up from preschool. Well, that's dope. Everyone's been worried about me. They love you, dude. And there I was, total tunnel vision, trying to do everything on my own. In the end, maybe it was my fault the team couldn't work together. Uh, don't sweat it. <laughs> Honestly, that's reassuring to hear from you. I feel a lot better about everything. There's also, s like, so many years. fucking builds just to just, like, eat the Reaper alive. Light is better now. Oops. Guess I kind of started rambling there. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Take it easy. And don't forget, I'm only able to focus on training again because you had my back. I feel great, so... Thanks, buddy. I got spoiled on one. I guess I really spoke from the heart. I feel like we're getting closer. Apparently if you fuse Sandrion with a uh, handful of, um... It's Siegfried and something else, and you just give her a shit ton of buff skills. She has her own, like, unique buff skill. Or she- and she can just, like, absolutely fucking dunk on, uh, the Reaper. Hey, Losty, how you doing? Welcome in. Yes, we are doing Persona. We're super deep into it. How are you doing today? And I am doing fairly decently. I decided to go back to the dorm. <laughs> hey buddy, you wanna go outside again? I take my dog for a walk. Oh my gosh, that is such a cute dog. He's a baby. So lucky. I'm not allowed to have pets at my place. Oh wait, did you hear? Cause did it again. What is it? Did he break his leg? Seriously, how many times does it have to happen? This is exactly why his towel stinks so bad. You know what? I don't want to know. Bye, doggy. Yes, we love Persona around here. This is the second one we've done. We did a, a almost 100% achievement run of a P5R. I, um, I fucked up an achievement. And I'm gonna leave that achievement fucked up on Steam forever. You have to go hang out with the with ma the maids five times. I think I went four. It was rough. I did a lot of research into that fucking run too, and I just blew it because I forgot about it. Hey, good news! I heard the boy who's transferring here today is one hot stud muffin. A new boy? Yep, yep. Oh yeah, he came to school the other day to submit some paperwork, right? Wonder which class he's in. If our seats are next to each other, we'd have to sit real close to uh, share textbooks. Y'all leave this poor man alone. Well, he's actually gonna be in two F- He's gonna be my friend! Well, let's have to go check him out later. That's my class! I actually never played Kingdom Hearts. All right, everyone. Today we have yet another transfer student. Is this really? 
Okay, it's in the game. I'm like, I'm hearing shit, and it's bugging the fuck out of me, but it's in game. I'm okay. Speaking of okay, let me go say hi to people. Because a, a few a few friends have gone live. Okay. Yes, that makes it a hat trick. See, Rika loves it, but I've I've never really played him. Go on, introduce yourself. Yeah, introduce yourself, friend. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. He was thinking the same thing. Leave the new kid alone. That's allowed. It's nice to meet you. I'm pretty sure he's looking at me. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work, and that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. He'll be alright. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's so aggressive. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. <laughs> dinner? <sighs> I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. Got his ass. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I've literally played none of them. That's a lie. I've played, like, the first island on KH1. Settle down, everyone. Just because we have a new student just doesn't give you the license to misbehave. Anyone who doesn't pipe down now gets left out of the school trip next week. Got it? Ah, shit. Good. Now let's begin. Where did we leave off last time? Ah, forget it. I don't need a textbook for this. I'm feeling sleepy. Ah, shit, boys! It's bedtime! Good night! <laughs> There's a lot of games I need to play. We can just add that to the queue of games the blue cat needs to play. How was your first day after transferring? I hope you like it here, Mochizuki kun. Thank you for the lurk, Losty. It is greatly appreciated, friend. Kun, sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? Hi, Drake. I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. Yeah, you're right, monkey. Yeah, let's see. Right, could you come along too? <coughs> Why me? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Why was I summoned? Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. 
Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Uh, all of them? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? Nope. Think Never been in there. Full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekoda. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Ekoda has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on. We can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like to hear, Mojizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. Uh-huh. I know your secret, Maya. This by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Yeah, yeah. Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? You have no idea. <laughs> I have extracurricular activities. Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too. But I'm on the murder team. team. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. You know how to piano? I notice you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music. How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Uh, you can play? Well, see for yourself. you it might be a good way for us to hit it off what a bro There's so much that i'm not comfortable or familiar with yet so i want to keep learning and trying new things i heard you transferred here too back in spring seems like we have a thing or two in common you think we can be friends what do you say uh we're already friends Does somehow feel like we've known each other for a long time already. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right. I think we exchange phone numbers. Do you not have a phone? <sighs> Sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. All right, guy. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. I'm familiar with a lot of the school. Even even some school you're not supposed to see. Something about him that lingers in my mind. All stats of the equipped persona have been increased by one. Them boxes were fucking heavy. Hey, Twisty, how you doing today? How's it going, my friend? What you think about that Ryoji kid? He's going around asking out every girl he sees. Damn, I wish I had his guts. <sighs> Not another one. Ah, <laughs> uh, Koromar, do you want to watch TV? Do you want to watch TV, buddy? Let's watch TV, buddy. It's another episode of that docu-series about a wolf pack. And this one, a mischievous wolf pup is playing with his father. Poor Amaru seems kind of sad. You miss your parents.
Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Koromaru seems fixated on the scene. His eyes hold a trace of longing. I wonder if he misses his parents. Mark? Looks like there's more to this documentary series on wolves. Maybe I'll watch it with Koromaru again when I, whenever I have the time. Joke's on you, game. I have nothing but free time now. At night. I heard Kirijo Senpai is coming back today. How is she? Uh -huh. I don't know. What should I even say to her? I wouldn't be surprised if she's not up for talking, though. After school. Bing bong, bing bong. Ryoji-san is dangerous. I have reanalyzed him and still detect nothing out of the ordinary. Nonetheless, I have a bad feeling about him. <laughs> I know, bestie. Pessie's trying to cause me problems. I'm glad I don't have this PTSD. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> Absolute emotional torment. <laughs> Fortune. Hello. Hey, bud. We'll go hang out with Haraga. Thanks. Actually, I'm thinking of... Never mind. It's nothing. We can talk about that later. I should go see how everyone's doing first. Scratching of pencils echoes throughout the art room. Haraga is not writing on his... Canvas. Hey, can we step out for a bit? I want you to come to the station with me. I'll tell you more there. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry to make you come all the way here. I um suddenly have no idea what to do with my life anymore. Do I want to be a doctor or do I want to be an artist? I've decided to do a little soul searching, and I won't go back home or to school until I figure it out. I haven't figured out exactly where I'll go, but it has to be somewhere away from home. <laughs> I've got plenty of money. I may have taken my dad's credit card from his wallet. You might have what? I'm glad we had a chance to talk before I left. Tell the others I said goodbye. I might have stolen my dad's credit card. You can't do that. Don't say that. You're going to make this harder for me. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. You need to give your dad's credit card back. Ma'am, are you all right? That cough. What happened? She's having trouble breathing and she's running a fever. This is bad. I may be jumping to conclusions here, but sorry about this. I knew it. She's a smoker. This is really bad. I think she suffers from chronic bronchitis. So if she caught a cold, it may have exacerbated the symptoms. Call an ambulance. Hurry! The old woman was placed in an ambulance and taken to the hospital. We'll leave the rest to the paramedics. Well, I better get going. 
Keisuke, are you cursed? Sir, are you okay? Hello? My train's about to leave. What should I do? All right, then I'll... I'll go ask the station attendant to call an ambulance. You stay here and perform first aid on him. I don't know the first thing about aid. Looks like he's in a lot of pain. How should I help him? y'all to know I was literally about to say I can picture myself just rubbing his back <laughs> oh my god is there a right answer here I don't know but you know what we're gonna pat his back because it's funny yes exactly <laughs> There, there. There's no way he only tapped him twice, too! <laughs> he really just went there, there. Oh, I love this game. He flinched from the pain. What should I do next? I can't rub his back! CPR while giving him a cardiac massage. Thanks to Haraga's efforts, the old man's condition stabilized. Paramedics carried him off in an ambulance. At least I helped him as much as I could. Thank you. I don't think I would have had the confidence on my own. I'm really glad you were here with me. This is where we walk up to, uh, to him and go there, there, and pat him on his back, too. Y'all making me want to do the echo thing just to just to see how bad it is. They both saved their lives. Haraga expressed his gratitude to me. I feel like we're becoming better friends. But I think the only way I'd be able to play him is emulation. And uh to fight. We're fighting for our lives. Yeah! I heard that yeah. Hey Jelly, welcome in Raiders! How are y'all doing? What were y'all doing? Were y'all doing the were y'all doing the dubada? -da? Was it dubada? -da? It was dubada. -da. Welcome in Raiders. I am Yorin the Blue Cat. I'm a variety streamer. I play all kinds of random bullshit over here on this channel. Uh currently we are playing Persona 3 Reload. And we are like super deep into it. So there's your like little heads up. Honestly, Jelly, that's how all of my survivor games go. Hey, real Morgan Stern, how you doing? It went poorly. I, yeah, I felt that. I feel your pain, friend. I absolutely feel your pain on the surviving going poorly. It went all right, for the most part. <laughs> well, it doesn't... So my problem is I'm trying to learn how to be better in chase. So I go out of my way to get chased. And so I end up dying because they're all just better than me. Because every time I play Survivor, I have to shake off weeks of rust. On a... Doing things I'm already not good at doing. It's... It's rough. 
it's it's rough. I think I'll go back home. There are no mind games. There's only I'm stupid. That said, I'm not looking forward to apologizing to my dad. All right then. I'll see you at school. The only mind games are the fact that I don't have a mind. Yeah, that's generally what I try to do. Sometimes it works. I've had a couple games where I ran the killer for five gens. I've had a few games where I've ran the killer for three. And I've had a few games where I died before the first gem was even done. <laughs> uh, it's rough. Welcome back. Matsuru san has just returned to the dorm. She looked really tired. She went straight through her room without saying a word. Eh, she'll be fine. Yeah, it usually doesn't end well. It doesn't stop me from trying, but it usually doesn't end well. Buy some Starvix and some Cylon tea and some Aguafina. Ah, let's go check. Yes, Persona 3 Reload is fucking beautiful. Some of the best part is the fucking menus. The menus are amazing. Yeah, we're super deep. We're like, I think I have 20 hours left in the game deep. So here is your... Before I continue on the stuff, if you do not want Spoodles for Persona 3 and or Persona 3 Reload specifically, uh, now is your time to hop out. I will not be upset. I do not wish to uh, Spoodle people. So P5, P5, I really, I like the style of P5s. I, this is, this is, I think this is smoother. <clears throat> also, it's blue. We match. Me, me and the, me and the thing match. All right, Yukari, what do you want to do? You borrowed another DVD. Ah, uh, if you won't get any better, I'm leaving. Um, what are you doing? Oh. Let's go garden. Should still be produced. Oh, son of bitch. I forgot. I forgot ages ago. So many Tarukaja potatoes. All right, let's plant some soul spinach, then go downstairs, and then go... Hey, Fuka, remember how uh, we were going to go play in the dirt? Let's go play in the dirt. Did you get my vegetables sick? What the fuck? What do we do? What if the plants die? How'd the book say to fix it? Wait, did one of them say, oh, they're doomed. I said we're doomed. That's amazing. Oh, right. If we take care of it now, it might not be a problem. From what I can tell, it doesn't look too serious yet. Um, what did the book say? I don't know. What did the book say? We just need to cut off the white parts. And <laughs> That's right. Vinegar. To put some diluted vinegar on the affected areas. I can't believe our vegetables have been sabotaged, boys. What the fuck? I just sippied, Hempy. I just sippied. Swear to God. I think that's about everything we can do. Pick 
picked up the fallen leaves, and the air circulation is... Sag. Everything should be fine now. All that's left is to trust they can recover. Hempy's a bully. I did! Thank you for today. I wouldn't have been able to save the plans if you hadn't been here. I did! I'm still a little worried, but please let me help out again sometime. I did the sippy. Suffer the PP penalty. <laughs> I don't wanna. I can hear people talking. Hey, there. hey, have you talked to the new transfer student yet? Isn't he handsome? <laughs> 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 oh, totally. Yeah, I have Mochizuki Kun, right? He's so sweet and dreamy. Also, he looks rich. I'm going for him for real this time. Th that's not fair. I call dibs. <laughs> they really do. Typical high school, right? Bing bong, bing bong. All right, who else today? We can finish Yuko. We can finish Keisuke. You can always depend on me to be out here saying shit. Uh, let's go ahead and finish Keisuke. Listen. <laughs> The fucking I guess angry is hilarious to me. I do what I can for my people. Oh shit. Thank you. Final case gay. I think everyone else is already here, so let's just draw like we usually do first. Scribble scribble. Everyone listen up. Uh-huh. As of today, I am quitting the club. I'd like a new club leader to be chosen from the second years. Oh, why? Where's this coming from? I have to study for my entrance exams. <laughs> Resumes drawing. I'm going to med school, getting my license, and becoming a doctor. It only took 400 accidents to happen. To take over the hospital? My dad has nothing to do with this. I made this decision for my He's cursed and almost killed three people. The opportunity to study abroad. And since I'm so behind on my studies, I'll have to pull a lot of all-nighters to catch up. I really enjoyed leading the club. So thank you all for everything. There's something different about you, Keisuke Senpai. You seem way more confident. Hey, you're giving me too much credit. Hey, can we talk upstairs? How far upstairs? I'm scared of heights. Yeah, that's the problem. Today, we won't be able to chat like this anymore. Ah, uh, it's fine. I wasn't coming to visit you anyway. Which is why I wanted to give this to you now. Award letter. I thank you. This arrived yesterday. It turns. This is just your life now. Hell yeah. But the top prizes ended up going to a couple other artists. It made me realize I still have a lot to learn. Like mastering the basics for starters. Studying for the med school entrance exams is going to be hard. And this would only distract me. That's why I want you to have it. We'll do that one. This will be the last time I ask you for There ain't no way. You're a really independent person. Not like me. I want you to know that I really respect you. I was just taking a shot at him. Remember how we helped those people at the station? They all have important people in their lives. Just like how you're an important person in my life. 
The fucking child. The fucking child. never would have gotten to be with those people again. The fucking child. Literally, like, the second time you hang out with her, you can literally just tell her it's her fault her parents are getting divorced. It's so fucking wild. So that's why I'm becoming a doctor. Uh, I'm not coming off as arrogant, am I? Err, uh, not at all. <laughs> See? I can be the reliable one sometimes, too, you know? I did used to be the club leader, after all. It feels like I went in a huge circle and ended up right back where I started. And I know it might look like it, but I'm not doing this because my- The ice cold options are honestly amazing. I'm doing this because I want to be a doctor. And if you ever need an emergency operation, I'll oversee the surgery myself. I mean, if I keep you alive, we get to spend more time together. Uh-huh. You mean you get to take my- Oh wait, this is Japan. I feel like I've gained a lifelong friend. Honestly, that was the nicest one. I am thou. Thou art I. Keisuke really is a bro. I tapped too many times. I skipped one. Like we haven't heard it a dozen times already. Fortune! We can now fuse Lakshmi, the goddess of fertility. Is everything. It's best if you never even have to see a doctor. Do you get the proper nutrients living in the dorm? Let's pick up something healthy for you to eat on the way home. After eating a nutritious meal with Haraga, I decided to go back to the dorm. So before I continue, I'm going to do this thing where I say. Uh, one of the channel's friends, Lost Protag, has uh, is uh, just gone live and I'm going to go over there and I'm going to say hi real quick. Before we continue into the game. I figured we'll give her a shout out while we're at it. All right, I'm back. Is she still in her room? Ah, Kiri already has plans. And the, cl pan uh, the plans are to stay in her room all night. What do you want, Ken? Yeah, let's go hang out with Ken. All right, bud, what do you want? I know you must be busy, but do you have time to come with me tonight? Yeah, let's go hang out with Amada. Port Island Station? Man. Oh, I know what he wants. So then I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called K Sarah Sarah. It's down this way. Maybe I don't know what he wants. Of getting me to her sonic gift. Hey, Brody. I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Check it out. Oh, okay. I ain't scared. Hmm. Is it a bit further down? You needed a break and you showed up here? There's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. This is the worst place to go if you need a break. Have you hurt? Have you met me? <laughs> It's going well. It's going well today. How you doing, Broody? Hey, it's past your exactly, Pesty. Mommy is waiting for you. <laughs> hey, ignore it. Thank you, but I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. Oh. 
Being ignored, losers. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. <gasps> one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. That's an idea. Is this what, that what you're looking for? Yes. I've seen Mitsuru-san drinking tea in the lounge. So when I was thinking of a gift that would make her happy, this is what came to mind. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. You're not old enough for his tea. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. I'm sorry, you're tired, Brewy. <laughs> Brewy? I'm glad that worked out. God damn it. Wait to give this to me too. Son. All right, I'm good. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. She'll be aight. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. A cuppa? You've grown strong. You really mean that? I was just thinking about when the same thing happened to me. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. Hey, thank you for the follow. We do anonymous follows around here, so if you just kind of want to hang out and lurk, uh, you don't have to be feel uh, you don't have to feel called out. But if you wish to announce yourself, feel free. Uh, did something happen, friend? Nah, it's nothing. Are you sure it's nothing? Is it a shadow? Joining me today, shadow Whelm? And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. <laughs> we haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself. But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start. But I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> nice. I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. Who the fuck is- Oh, yeah! Little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. Invite me next time. <laughs> of course. Let's go get ramen together again one of these days. It was so delicious the last time we had it. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. Is that how you feel? Yeah. I can't explain it very well, but I feel like you can see the real me. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? Listen to what Amada has, had been up to as we went back to the dorm. I feel like my charm has improved after witnessing Amada's thoughtfulness towards Mitsuru. Good thing it's already full. Also, I don't say this I don't, I don't I don't say this often enough, but the fucking soundtrack of this fucking game is amazing. And that's why It's November already. The third year students must be cramming frantically by this point. 
Don't worry, though. You'll share their fate next year. I can just see you now, tearing your hair out. Anyway, it's a bit cold today, and there's no need for the heater. Let me tell you why. I'm going to sleep because you're a dick. Winter is supposed to be cold. You have to learn to appreciate the temperature rather than curse it. That's the Japanese way. Do you understand me? You don't, do you? As say sh Shonagon? I don't fucking know. Once wrote in her famous pillow, po pillow book, Winter, Early Mornings. Now leave me alone! What was she describing with such a sparse line? Her favorite time in the winter. The internet, the internet helped me. So you do have some basic sense. The author was describing her favorite time in winter. She's now famous for having written about her likes, dislikes, and other observations. She admires what the snow represents, the beauty of the winter frost. Rather than curse the winter chill, she appreciates appreciated its positive qualities. Oh, how wonderful Japanese culture is, despite its modern youth, anyway. <laughs> if you think my hair's frosty, remember that you'll eventually be just like me. The world's first Facebook. <laughs> I'm more charming because I am the smartest. Nip, 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 nip. Bing bong, bing bong. Ah, what, what's this about a bad feeling? Hi, friend. Hey there. I am free. Going out with a few ladies later, but I guess some of their friends want to talk with me first. Maybe we can all go together. Wouldn't that be so much more fun? I think they're waiting for me on the roof. Want to come along? Ryoji's invited me to join him. This might be a good opportunity to get to know him better. Should I spend some time after school with Ryoji? Uh, give me a second. Who? Oh, it's him. <laughs> oh, it's just Yukari today. That's fine. We can hurt Yukari's feelings. That doesn't look like women. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. <laughs> Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you. <laughs> I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem then. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. C quit messing with us! <laughs> Ryochi could be in danger if this continues. I should probably intervene. Give me your phone. I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. Yes, we tell angry people to calm down. It's my favorite thing to do in this world. I am. Hey, it's that guy from 2F. Yeah, it's that guy. He's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. Yeah, we do. What do we do? If he tells them, then. <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend too. Which one? Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. That's my favorite thing. 
Eh, it's tough being popular. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Well, that wasn't really my intention. Right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. <laughs> hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. <sighs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Uh, that's a secret. <laughs> is that how it is? Well, maybe you can tell me once we get to know each other better. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in the city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. What do you mean? Oh, he just gives me stat-ups. Rough. If it's desynced, try refreshing. A doggy. <gasps> oh. Oh. Are we? We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna brush the baby. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your payment. A bomb of life? Let's go. <laughs> the goodest boy. Morning. Hey. Have you talked to Mo Mochizuki Kun at all? Uh, a little bit. Huh. Oh, yeah? You think maybe you could get along with him? Seems really, um, affectionate. Is that normal overseas? Hey there. Why, hello, Takeba san. Oh, and good morning to you. Uh. Oh, hey, good morning, uh, Mochizuki Kun. Please, call me Ryoji. You see, since I transferred here, it's such an awkward time. I was hoping I could get to know everyone better. Yeah. Oh, I see. I suck having to transfer schools so often. Yeah. Can't deny that. I should be used to it by now, but it's always hard to leave new friends. It gets a little lonely, you know? So how about keeping me company for a little while? Wanna grab a quick bite sometime? He just walked away. Yukari-san! Hey, wait up! There's supposed to be a question mark in that, but I didn't read it with a question mark. Fight me. Bing bong, bing bong. No, this button, this button, this button. Bebe and Fuka. Ooh, Mamoru. Wait, does that finish him? Is start at nine? Damn, we're close. What's at the dormitory? Nah, we're gonna finish. Hey, wanna grab something to eat? Not the Falcon Punch. 
There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Are you free right now? Neko Shogun says we can hang out. Great, then let's get some ramen. Today I'm gonna go with a special. Extra large. I want a special. The big meat for that scholarship was yesterday. Did you win? <laughs> Are you seriously asking me that? I got first place, of course. Congrats, man. Well, what'd you expect? But really, thanks. I guess this means it's really over. Running track, I mean. Oh, kind of uh, so I'm not allowed specials? Is that what you're telling me, Pesty? Uh, what will you do now? Ow. I'm thinking of finding a job, actually. Ayo? Not to sound dramatic, but I want to do it to protect my family. I know where, too. Start Dad winning. Damn! So, I'll apply there. <laughs> I'm being attacked. Thing is, it's pretty far away. Go ahead and order extra noodles. It's on me. Oh hell yeah! Thanks. Yeah, eat as much as you want. You help me figure a bunch of things out. Pesty's here to fight. Blame school or my family for everything. I was using it as an escape from my own responsibilities. I really lucked out by meeting you. If I hadn't, I'd still be stuck in that same hole. <laughs> I say opened up to me about his decision. I feel like we're getting closer. I feel your pain, Broody. Well, I better start packing. Got a lot of goodbyes to get through and not enough time. We should grab a bite again after school soon. Who knows how many chances we'll get after this. Ramen's just too good to pass up, right? You're right. <laughs> We're almost done with Star. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hello. Uh, is it just me, or does Junpei-san seem unhappy about something? <laughs> God damn it, Arthas. He's been mumbling under his breath for the longest time. Do you think it's about Chidori-san? Also, hey Arthas, how you doing? Oh. He rented a DVD, a foreign film about a hard-boiled detective. Wait a minute. He just seems like a reckless old man to me. I know y'all recognize this. I guess I shouldn't assume everyone pays as much attention to music as I do. But uh, for those that don't recognize this, this is the uh, the bar in P5. It's it's that theme. He even fell for that woman's lies. Do people really think this guy is cool? Let's wait and see. Oh, that's right. We are only halfway through the movie. By I'm really good at catching music things. Wow, he was so cool. He actually knew it was a lie the whole time, and he was just pretending to be tricked. His signature phrase was so good too. I know my neck pop just picked up on Mike, but I hope it was <laughs> undermined by my f by the game sound. <laughs> I saw my model jump. Without smarts, and you've got no right being a detective without a heart. 
I'm Batman. <laughs> Damn it. Sweet. Double sweet. Looks like this movie is part of a series. Let's watch the other ones together when you have time. All right, cool. Saturday. Oh. What's up? Hey there. Good morning. This is an unusual sight. We just ran into each other early and started talking. We actually wanted to know, he actually wanted to know more about Gecko Khan High. So naturally I had to share my wisdom with him. Anyway, he's a real cool dude to hang with. Thanks for helping me out, Junpei Kun. <sighs> Thanks especially for telling me who's in the top 10 cuties of Gecko Khan High, too. If Yucatan hears about this, my rep's gonna go down the toilet. You have a rep? But I wanna know too. Look who's showing interest all of a sudden. Well then, I'd like your opinion too. It's a very serious matter, see. You two are pretty close, huh? Nope, we can also be good friends too, since we're both transfer students and all. Oh, morning. That means I have to read. Let's get on with God! Excuse me? I already wasn't gonna try, and then we start putting little things above letters, and I'm just done. Why does that U have a hat? Why does that A have a hat? What's going on? I already can't read normally. Why are we giving letters hats? Let's begin today's lecture, shall we? I'll be teaching today because, well, maybe it's best that you don't know. Anyway, I'm filling in last minute, so I didn't have much time to come up with the lesson plan. The first thing that came to mind was a lecture on practical magic. How about we discuss some breathing techniques? <laughs> I know, some people would say breathing's any anything but magic, but the two are actually closely linked. Sorry. That's because breathing affects more than your body. It influences the mind as well. The ancient Greek word for breath is pneuma. Oh, really? It was a very important concept in medical school of the day. In, in the medical science of the day. I'm making up shit. <laughs> Who's number one on the top ten list, though? Later, Gnostic Christians used pneuma to refer to the human spirit. A concept separate from the soul. That's how I know Numa. That was around the time when breathing techniques were recognized as being so crucial to successful magic. Could name all sorts of examples where this influence is felt today. Like yoga, breathing is an especially important factor there. You know what? Fight me, Pesty. I'm sorry that you're the smart one. It's also the Shimto concept of Ibuki, meaning both breath and inner strength, that is often incorporated into martial arts training. So you see how breathing... <laughs> see... <laughs> I keep seeing chat pop and I keep laughing. <laughs> Number one is Junpei. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, your mom's a respiratory therapist? Interesting. We got some deep pesty lore this stream. Let's go. So, you can see how breathing techniques have spread throughout the world thanks to the power of magic. But, back to practical matters. Let me show you something called... Da yeah. Some say Gautama Buddha himself. Or Gautama Buddha himself. 
practice this method while on Earth. It's a breathing exercise where you focus on a specific... De yeah, or an energy center in your body. So, the first step is simply focusing on the right... Yeah, as each person has most multiple. For this exercise, focus on the lower one. It's about three finger widths below the navel. Why does such a seemingly random spot on your our body perceive su receive such high regard to the point of being specially named? It's because the... Yeah, is where the most energy can be charged within the body. Once you start the exercise, you might notice that the energy you send there can't be felt elsewhere in the body. This is because the... Yeah, <laughs> absorbs your spiritual energy, further strengthening the body and mind. Oh, jeez. Most your high school friends had moms that worked at the hospital. How many other options around here? Honestly, felt that. First timers, it's usually a good idea to place your hand on the in the proper spot. This helps to maintain focus. Once you've pinpointed your... Yeah, you can begin the breathing process. This is just a meme at this point, by the way. Imagine the air you pull in with your diaphragm is coalescing within the... the yeah. Then, just as deliberately, exhale through the nose. The goal with each breath is to channel energy into it until you can feel it begin to harden. That's the point when you should exhale. And simply repeat this process as desired. That's all. Oh, except one important note. If you're doing it correctly, there shouldn't be any pain. After all, when you boil it down, you're simply breathing in and out. That means if it hurts, then there's likely some sort of mental thing going on instead. Something inhibiting your mind. I'm going to sleep. Good night. You. She's been hiding. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking oh, shit. for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Oh, well. I have no fucking idea. I lost the plot long time ago in talking with Mr. Adagawa. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. They included I magic? In third year, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad, too. And I know what that's like. Talk about... So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? ryoji -kun? Why are you looking for her? you up here? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. Some guy? I didn't, the class trip might get canceled. Oh, no. Ugh, oh to Gary Coon. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. Oh. Fair. In any case, looks like I found you. Meet Tsuruki Rijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. <sighs> Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. Ryoji, please. Up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Rio, Ryoji, please. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. As is expected of a high school student. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. 
For now, I'd better see to my duties. <laughs> she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. I also didn't like that. How about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? Ryoji, please. <laughs> <laughs> How? <laughs> I wonder if that's what I guess meant by trouble. Hampy! I'm gonna stop drinking before he shows up. I'm just gonna wait until he shows up to hydrate me. I swear to God, he's watching me. All right, let's go finish off uh, Yuko. We also have a Walmart. Pavlov's Hydra. Yeah, right. Doing anything today? If not, maybe you could join me. I'm vibing. I'm sorry. Really? Oh, perfect. Do you want to come over again? I wanted to give you something. That's all, really. I just wanted to give you a little something. No big deal. Right? Why do I have the hiccups now? Oh, I forgot to mention. During lunch break today, that girl was trying to bother me again. You remember, right? She's the one who put gum on my shoe locker. Well, this time, I told her what I thought right to her face. That she should find what she really wants to do in life. She probably didn't get what I was saying, but ever since I figured it out for myself, I feel like I've been able to see the bigger picture. I mean, I kind of used to be the same as her, you know? I guess I've learned how to empathize better now. Not to mention, you did end up becoming my boyfriend. So. Uh-oh. But uh, that's not why I invited you here. Don't give me an idea, Arthas. Part at school, but I wanted to talk somewhere quiet. Uh, what is it? D don't be so impatient. I'm getting to that. Oh, why am I the one panicking now? So you know the kids we coached? They each left a message for us. I know they were kind of a handful, but they also have an endearing side to them, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. Sometimes I can't believe how open-minded you are. I think I need to learn from you. Here, this one's for you. Can you read it for me? I can't read. Me to give it to my boyfriend. <laughs> Aren't they cute? That's what I invited you here for. Uh, well, actually, that was just an excuse. Because today, well, whoa, parents aren't home. So, whoa, T O S T O S. Don't make me say it. I'm a girl, you know. <laughs> hey, don't stare so much. T-O-S! T-O-S! It's just... I was able to find my true calling thanks to you. I'm so glad I met you. Those are my true feelings. And I hope you feel the same. I will never see you again after this conversation. Will you stay with me a while longer? Yuko has expressed her love for me. Strength. What does this get us? Adavaka, the Wisdom King General. I love you. I really do. And 
and we will never see her again, chat. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Oh, ah, she's talking. I will join you at Tartarus tonight. I apologize for worrying everyone. Our only priority now is to do something about Tartarus. I'll be counting on you all again. Well, the school trip is next week, so that should be fun. But unfortunately, Amada and Koromaru will have to stay here. <laughs> exactly, Arthas. We still haven't started Mitsuru's. Pendant of Unity Video Games Ooh That could be useful for uh, MC Hey Akihiko, what are we watching? DVD. Yeah, let's go watch people punch each other in the face. In this fight, each side had one win and one loss. A serious all or nothing match. And the fact that they were lifelong rivals only helped them push each other to the top. Do you have any <laughs> Arthas, please. You're my rival. <laughs> Interesting. I think facing off against you would make for a good match, but I have no intention of losing. Maybe we should try sparring sometime. Anyways, you'd have to be really lucky to find a partner like that. All the athletes from the other schools avoid me. And I don't think a long time childhood friend is quite the same thing as a rival. But hey, the world is a big place. I'll just keep polishing my skills until I find the right person. <laughs> Sorry, we were supposed to be relaxing, but I just ended up talking the whole time. Uh, Y'all wild. I'll put on some real good matches then. I'm mad that you made me read that with my own two eyes. I didn't notice the time before you go to sleep. Do you want to crack a raw egg for some protein first? No. PRP making a pair of pairs. Pairing a pair of pairs. Ah! Stop making me read it! It hurts! Why are y'all like this? <laughs> Why are y'all like this? <laughs> There's no school today. It's almost time to give Tanaka all of our money. I'll fucking do it again, but I won't come back. It's amazing commodities. I'll do it again, but I won't come back this time. <laughs> Swear to God. One more time before I take off.
always sharp as attack. Yep. I'm leaving right after this. <laughs> Why are y'all like this? Factory's way out west, so I'm moving into a dorm there. I've already sent my luggage. I just gotta send myself. My mom started crying and blaming herself. I'm the one who wants to do this. It's probably my fault. I'm why you guys are like this. Guess I should say goodbye to this ramen too. Well then, I better get going. Sure. Then let's head to the station. Oh shit. Hey. Here, take this. I want you to hang on to that. Well, it's a car key, obviously, but it's not just any car key. It's the key to my dad's car. I've been keeping it for good luck. Sometimes I get pretty pissed that he's not around anymore. My life wouldn't have been so complicated, you know? I could have enjoyed track more. I wouldn't have had all that pressure to be the best. But by blaming him like that, I was just running away from my problems. That's why I want you to have it. I don't want to risk running away again. But if I know you have it, I'll be able to stand on my own two feet. Then next time we meet, I can still be proud of who I am. Thank you. I see you over there, Arth. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. Just, just give me one second. 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 No, no, no. Give me one second. 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 So I, so I don't have to do this later. I can just do it now. Arthas, you're a bitch. <laughs> the innermost power of the Star Arcana has been set free. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the star within myself. He set that up well. <laughs> oh, God damn it. We can fuse Hello, the Lightbringer. We'll see each other again someday. Why are you like this? Yeah, they all got refunded because I called Arthas a bitch after he said no cursing. Why is it pre-prepared? Why this? Just imagine 
Blue Cat looking off into the distance as it rains in the background. After all these fucking pears. Spoilers, it's raining pears. It's not actual rain, it's just pears falling from the sky. It's not the torment our friend until he loses the jokes on you that was already gone. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a reason. Mm. I don't know what I expected, but that wasn't it. I don't know what I expected, but that wasn't it. I don't know what I expected because that wasn't it. I'm still trying to recover from the pears. Yeah, I I literally refunded everything because I I cursed. Why do you think we're on the gentle piano? <laughs> oh shit! As soon as I saw as soon as I saw the no cursing hit, I'm like, nah, nah. Everyone's getting their points back today. <laughs> You're right, otherwise I wouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, I wonder how many I wonder how many uh, mousy boy points I have now. Fuck. Um. Yeah, let's go garden. Yes. If you wanna go ahead. A very possible. I think he just does it. Plants seem much livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them? Good idea. I'll give it a try. Hello? Hello? This is Igus. If you can hear me, plants, then please respond. Hmm. Unfortunately, there was no answer. Communication will be difficult with my current abilities. This is something to consider for the future. I had some prior knowledge of plants, but this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth and morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? How fascinating. I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. Is she okay? This <clears throat> took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. It's gotten late. We should head back now. Well, my fun way to refund is the challenges. Maybe one day I'll do a, uh... I'll have, like, actually, like, punishments for failing challenges or something. The school trip's tomorrow. Are you all packed? Hey, listen. You bet I am. I've got it all covered. Yukata, bathing suit, flashlight, snacks. Yeah. You don't travel light, do you? She has a flashlight. She's traveling pretty light. When did you redeem 100k? 
Monkey, when did you redeem 100k that I missed? Uh oh. Was that today? It was! I didn't realize you redeemed 100k to be silly. Oh, did, did you miss? Did you miss the memes? Well, he didn't actually put a game in there. So I didn't realize it was a fucking 100k redeem. <laughs> we love backlog. Nah, they were pairing me to death. And then Arthas redeemed no cursing. So I just immediately went and refunded everyone and then called Arthas a bitch. <laughs> Tomorrow you leave on your field trip. Ah, Kyoto, home of my heart. Some teachers think you should be out visiting foreign countries, but I shut those ideas down every year. It's shameful the way we've lost passion for our homeland. Okay, boomer. Why don't we spend some time today learning about our country's innate beauty? I'm sure your other teachers haven't covered that at all, that's for sure. No wonder Maya hates you. You all know that our national flower is a cherry blossom, right? However, back in the days of the Manyoshu, if you were to ask someone what it was, then they'd say it was the plum. You see, I didn't real I didn't see the type in uwu thing. I didn't or the read the uwu eh, the uwu chat thing. All I saw was no cursing after getting the shit memed out of me. I think I put it... I think I put them down below, and if I didn't, I meant to. Yes. You could do these nuts. Hello? Why am I not in game? There he goes. Going to bed because he's annoying. You know, maybe that's not the best phrase to say to Arthas. Those are the only ones I remember so far. So if I've missed one, y'all do need to let me know. Once we're done with P3R, we will go back to East. I did just offer you a pair, you are correct. Video games. Oh, I just saw some tearing. <laughs> Pair of D's? What's a D's? Can't believe Arthas wishes his paired pair of his paired pair of pairs was pre-prepared. It would save him on the pairing. I can't. I just. I just can't believe how unfair it is that he has to pair a pair of pairs while I glare. God, that gave me a stroke. <coughs> that gave me a stroke. I'm not gonna make it, chat. <laughs> I'm fading. I'm fading away. <laughs> God damn. 
Run away, don't let the tiny child see you. I've been lost. Hey, don't cry. See, you're okay now. I cannot. It gives me a stroke reading it normally. No, he won't. Blue kitten, swear to God. I expect that from Arthas, Bert, but you? Makes you say that. It is the ones you. you, you want to know. You, Sorry. What? I didn't mean to poke fun at you. My brain you stroked. I told you before. Help. My mom and I aren't very close. Well, if you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say a terrible one. She wasn't always like that, though. I'm not gonna make it, boys. This stream is gonna be my last one. I'm gonna die before it's over. Probably living with one of her boyfriends somewhere. <laughs> The timing of that, the timing of that message, Arthas. Could we keep this between you and me? You're the only one I've told. Arthas is trying to make it easier for me to decide I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> Can't you just go back to the dorm together? Why'd you part? Oh, it's my prizes! Welcome back. Tomorrow is the school trip. Huh? I'm glad we're going to Kyoto because I need a drink from Kyoto. No souvenirs for children. No. Did he say reverse psychosis? Did Junpei say something about reverse psychosis? Junpei, are you okay? Arf! Arf! It's the usual animal show. Today is the last day of the special on wolves. <laughs> Koromaru seems to sympathize with the wolves leader protecting the pack. He's given me a look of fierce determination. Want to be the leader now? Koromaru is focused even harder on the wolves pack leader now. Why are these actual barks now? Compared to before, the look in Koromaru's eyes seemed to have changed. It's as if he's gained a sense of pride from the wolves leader. <laughs> Otto Masakunda. <laughs> 60 almost back. You better be careful she doesn't trip on you when she walks in. It would be horrible if Tiny Mousy got stepped on. You look determined. Koromaru is keeping sharp. We did miss 60. 
I don't care if she's not sick. She will forever be sick to 16. Because it's funny. <laughs> exactly, that would be awful. Today, I'm leaving on the class field trip. The train is scheduled to arrive in Kyoto in the afternoon. Hope we make some good memories. I don't. I'm losing day. Oh, cutscene. I'm losing days to hang out with the boys. Ain't no vet gonna bring that Kyoto, back. Huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. Oh, shit. It does? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. Evening. God damn! I guess we were traveling. We transferred to a tour bus after arriving at Kyoto Station. The sun has already set. Higashiyama Sango Godaigo Inn. And here we are. Whoa, nice place. Tum Tum ass. Yeah, this part of town is pretty fancy. Hey, what's that umbrella for? <laughs> you want to get under it? I know what it's for. It's for good luck, you know. I know what it's for. the geishas? Think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. He will if you ask nicely. Keep dreaming, Junpei. Or Junpei. Don't ask how I know. Oh, no. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Err, uh, that's the courtyard. This is the courtyard. Want to go out for a walk later, I guess? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Do we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man. Dumbass. Man. <laughs> they were trying to switch rooms with a bunch of goofs. You're always immature. Hey there. Uh, Hot Springs are really famous. Every few hours there's a surprise. Okay. <laughs> you try to. Oh! Down, but still got caught. Well, guess we gotta head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. <laughs> Miss Toriyumi might get pissed at us. Oh god, it does work, and I hate it. Come on in. Anything? I'm going shopping. I'm buying all your shit. Cause I'm rich, cause I beat up shadows in the space tower. Much Hi. Why? A bundle suit. Good evening. Is this not amazing? We are here in Kyoto. This is true Japanese aesthetic. Simple but elegant. Oh, just look at this pagoda. My, my. How does it stand with only matchsticks? 
Behold, the wonders of Japan! It's a good fucking question. Yo, what's up? Check this out. The hot spring's over there, right? Now, if you consider how the garden is fenced. You seriously trying to peep? You do know you can get arrested for that, right? Of course not. I'm not stupid. Just imagine the steamy paradise beyond the garden fence. I'm just imagining you being wild. Close your eyes and focus. Then you'll see everything inside your mind. Give it up, you idiot. No way you can see a damn thing like that. Give up? Never. Nothing is impossible. And you call yourself an athlete? Where's your spirit? You're the only one holding yourself back. You gotta push your limits to succeed. What? <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day you'd teach me something about sportsmanship. You're right. I'm not gonna give up. I'll never give up! Y'all yeah, wild him. Hey, what's up? Uh, no, I don't know what room am I in. Stairs, turn right. Right hand side in the hall. Okay, bye! <laughs> v6, huh? V6, huh? Oh, hey. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I want to sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. <laughs> then, after lights out, we girls get together and gush about who we like. And this year, I've got a lot to say. What? Oh, oh by the way, have you checked? Yuko, you're gonna get me in trouble. Don't. You don't really see these drinks back home. Maybe hint, hint. Buy some as a souvenir. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Buy one. Oh, that's my bed. We're still talking to boys. Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Pretty much, Arthas. I was very clear when I said never again. All right, what kind of shenanigans are we going to get up to today? School excursion, day two. Today's itinerary, visiting Kyoto's historical sites. <laughs> On sightseeing around Kyoto, aboard a tour bus. It was much more exciting seeing the historical locations in person than in photos. In the afternoon, we all went our separate ways at the Kamagawa River, near the hotel. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. Already missed it. Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together. And now that fight is over. The fight is not over. Common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? 
You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. Get her ass! You're really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened. I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. Look on the bright side. Now he's dead on the outside, too. But it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? Got her! Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. She's got fucking smoked! I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. At that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but in the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started. That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake. And for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together. Okay? Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Making this awkward for both of us. God damn it. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. Hey, the thing, she did it. Artemisia. It was a tiny little head. Massive almighty damage to one foe and decrease all of their stats. We like that. Please, watch over me. Mitsuru may get a spot in the party just for that. Why are you in front of my room? Stalker. Stalker. Why are you here? Hey there. I swear to God, Arthas. <laughs> I had a favor to ask. Kari san told me there's a riverbank nearby with a great view. Would you like to check it out with me tomorrow? Arr Arr. Sure, why not? Thanks. Great, sounds like a plan. Come find you when we start heading back tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Okay, bye. I'm going to bed. The funny thing is, as soon as I saw the one pair misspelled, I'm like, oh no, this is not going to end well.
Here's the problem, though. I didn't realize it was not going to end well for me. <laughs> hey, Lama, how you doing? School excursion, day three. Today's itinerary, free time within the city. It's the boys! Mitsuru seems to have cheered up. She's been friendly with her classmates, and especially Yukari. Wonder what happened. No, you stop that, Broody. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. You can't be nice to me. Going on trips is great. You did. A lot of the Someone else didn't. Everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. Someone misspelled I'm one. Having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song though. I think I like it. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. <laughs> I wasn't calling out the snap with dyslexia that can't type. This melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. You called out the snap with Even dyslexia the that can't type. Reflecting off the water surface. <laughs> it's different uh... than you get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. <laughs> Love you, Brody. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Hey, Joe. Oh. How do you know that? Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. Oh. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed. I didn't pay attention to him. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? Are we a couple? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Uh-huh. Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? You have literally flirted with every single girl in the school and you're ask you're the one asking this question? Friend. I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, me? Everyone. I would or never. Each person you connect with it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean, you can't escape it? But from what I can tell, everyone around here wants to have that kind of relationship. If they were just forced together by circumstances, I don't think they'd look so happy. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided, but it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm, other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something. I did just ask if we were a couple. The wind is chilly out here by the water. But we should probably head back. I don't want to get in the way of all the couples. But I thought we were a couple. <laughs> I received a message. Find Junpei, fine. Look for Junpei. Gee, 
I wonder where he went. I wonder where he could be. Sup? Wanna check out the outdoor hot spring? Sweet! I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Oh! Hey! This trip went by in a blur. I can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. Since we were in different groups, it was also kind of a bummer. True. The teachers are keeping an eye on us since it's still a school activity. <sighs> you know, when I visited the temples earlier today, I kept thinking about you. Like, what it'd be like if you were there. Or if you'd like this keychain I got for you. I even saw a Buddhist statue that reminded me a little of you. <laughs> but now that I've gotten a good look at you, I don't really see the resemblance. You know what? I think I like it best when I'm with you. <laughs> Let's go on a date once we get home, okay? She might have. <laughs> hot Springs! You know hot Spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others. No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. Junpei! Even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Foreshadowing? Is this foreshadowing? Is this foreshadowing? I think this is foreshadowing. Blow up how? Even still, can't help but think maybe fate wants us to be here. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. It would interfere with that, you're right. Right, it could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? You morons. So that's why we came at <sighs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know that it's all just a misunderstanding. Swear to God. Wow, this hot spring is huge. You're going to get us killed. Oh, shit. Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Luka-san! Oh, this is my lucky little... Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Mitsuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. 
Metal Gear Persona, go! This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. Man, yeah, with you, Arthas. Why not just hit him with the occupied? Now all of you kiss. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay, you're leading this operation, aren't you? Uh-uh. Also, Anja, are you are you trying to say are you trying to say something? You trying to say I only understand about twenty to forty human words? Is that what you're saying? What the hell should we do? Hiding the steam. Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. That's your prop. That's that's where you're wrong. You really know what you're doing. Under In the shadows. No, there's uh. no one here. See, you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? <laughs> Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted. Mitsuru and I guess are probably close too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? And why is it bread? Shut up. He can explain later. Kobe! What was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. Metal Gear Persona, go! They are now. This is our chance. Go, go, go! Oh, hang on. We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that. Oh, so much confidence. You're like a natural born leader. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with you. All right, let's move. If we die, June Pay, it's your fault. No, it couldn't be. Couldn't be what? What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. Yeah, it's a little quacker. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> Obviously. <coughs> How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific. Okay, that's funny, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. <laughs> I'm sad I missed it. That's a highly efficient way to cool down. I don't know how. But we made it out. All thanks to you. I'm the hero. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where did Junpei and Mochizuki go? I hope they got lost. Huh? Junpei kun and Ryoji kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh no. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Yeah, something got to them anyway. <laughs> no idea what it looked like, but I felt it happen. <laughs> That's great. The last day of our school trip. We'll be leaving Kyoto by bullet train this afternoon. I'm free until then. Station, right? Nope, I forgot. You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Whatever, Maya. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. 
Well, mostly because of last night. Shut up, Junpei. <laughs> You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Uh, what are you reflecting on? How stupid he is. Uh, uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, whatever. Hmm. This secret stays between us. Got it? You guys better take it to the grave. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him that you're a filthy peeker. Oh, welcome back. It was fast. Uh... Tired of what? Being a turd? Oh. Arrest these men. There's only two of them that need arrested. Hmm. The rest of us got fucking bamboozled. What am I fighting for? Dog! Bark! Bark! Bark, bark, bark! Looks like Koromaru is really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. Stop right there, criminal scum! You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. It's because he's a baby. He's not in high school. The only ones left behind at the dorm, so it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge, then I'd doze off for a while, but it was actually so quiet, I couldn't sleep right. Hmm? What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. Present, he gave me a rock. To tell what Koromaru is thinking lately. It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days. Uh huh. Are you telling me you can speak dog now? Are you telling me you're like Igus and can speak dog? Ah, gossip! Seriously? I was so excited about having next Monday off, but then I remembered career experience week starts Tuesday. It's lame. We have to work even though we won't get paid. What jobs did you get? No way, man. Tuesday and Wednesday, I've got a construction job. And on Thursday and Friday, I'm at a gas station. You know what? Dang, that sucks. And the teacher's going to be keeping an eye on us the whole time, too. <laughs> I already have a job. Miss Murder in Shadows. So, did you all enjoy the school trip? I sure didn't. I couldn't care less about shrines and temples. Well, career experience week starts Tuesday. Just think of it as another boring field trip for social studies. It's pretty tough out there in the real world. If you don't know what I mean, by the end of the week, you will. Myself, though, I'm just happy I'll have the chance to relax. Does anyone have any fond memories from the trip they'd like to share with the class? Come on now, don't turn away from me. I'm feeling sleepy. I'm feeling sleepy. <laughs> Fucking Anja! Oh no. He's right though. He's not wrong. Bing bong, bing bong. Up. Move, I want to talk to Yellow. Hi, Yellow. Hey, Fucking Yellow, please. That's a secret. Just deal with it. Alright, we're going to go hang out with 
this one. Fuck. This one. Even though this one is in purgatory. Uh, hi, how was your day? Ryoji Kun was here? You came to hang out with Jun Pei Kun. It's not often that we get visitors here. Yeah. Do you think it's okay? I'm actually surprised he's not with a girl. Hey, where's I get? Oh no. Saw her on the second floor. Really? Hmm, maybe she's with Koromaru. It's not like them to be gone. Hi, doggy. I comprehend. I have a suggestion. Okay. I'm gonna go watch boxing with uh, Akihiko. Yeah. And he might get a new ability if we watch boxing again. All right. Today we're gonna see some of the greatest matches the champs have ever. Hmm? And here we are with the first match of the qualifiers. In the red corner, we have Akihiko Sonata Kun from Gekko Khan High it's School. Me. What? This is footage from my first official match. My coach from back then recorded it for me. Uh, sorry, it looks like I put on the wrong video. Uh, let me switch it out. No, 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 I want to watch it. Hey, come on. It's not that interesting. But I guess this might be a good opportunity. Uh, let's watch it. Oh, I look so <laughs> stiff and nervous. My form is all over the place. Uh, how did I even win this? At least I can tell I've improved since then. Here's where I get my life straight in. And the winner is Sonata Kuhn <laughs> from Check the my red face. corner. I'm trying to look calm. But on the inside, I, can I wonder if six games. will give us an actual gay romance. I know I said before that I just wanted to learn how to fight with my bare hands. But this might actually be why I stuck with boxing. This victory gave me confidence. I wasn't so stiff. And Another one for me to add to the pie. <laughs> Are you the type to get nervous in front of a bunch of people like that? Uh... <laughs> Honestly, I kind of agree. Yeah, but it'd be neat. You wouldn't really know how tense that feels without experiencing it for yourself. If you ever want to try getting in the ring, I'd be glad to have you. I've learned a lot from boxing, but there's a strict rule I follow when it comes to winning. Find your opportunity, then strike without hesitation. It's easy enough to remember, but hard to apply. You could say the same thing about fighting shadows, too. I've always tried to keep those words in mind, but now I'll be even more conscious of them. Sonata seems to have found new potential within himself after watching the DVD. <laughs> Boost the effects of buffs on self. You know, yeah, pretty much. Did help remind me how I felt when I was starting out. Anyway, sorry you had to sit through that. I'll save the champion matches for next time. Now we move on to round two of the qualifiers. In the red corner, Akihiko Sonata oh, well, from Gekko Khan here, High School. Wanna watch some more before we go to sleep? Get him, Aki! Punch him in the face! Late night. Hmm. hmm. What's going on here? What am I drawing? I don't know. What are you drawing? What? Huh? 
It's been a while. That voice. He's alive. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. <gasps> now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Kaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death <laughs> is not to be feared. <laughs> You know what, Jason? Me too. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey. Yori, hurry it up. Oh no. Medea, let's go. There's no school today, but there is Tanaka. Pesty just Hulk smashed her tiny kitty cat. Rest in peace, kitty. Vegetables. Solely spinach. God damn, it's a lot of soul spinach. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, my child. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> Good night, sweet dunce. There's literally nothing to do today! What the fuck? Inari Sushi, huh? Let's go ahead and make sure we can rank up Yukari. I think I'm gonna push a little farther. Plants! We must boost the plants. measures against them. What is the cause of this? Oh, this is... Look, I've sighted a ladybug larva. 
It's very small and adorable. Get rid of it. No, we mustn't. Ladybugs are the natural predators of pests that damage plants. Oh, cool. This must be the reason why they've been growing so well. Even in just these tiny planters. Ah! So much life. Ah! There's no one to teach them. They're just doing the best they can. Hmm. My apologies. I got distracted. Let's keep working. I was sitting weird. And then when I went to fucking sit up correctly, <laughs> I was a tad stuck. Excuse me. Please apply the repellent on that end. Pests deserve no mercy. Reads all green. No problems to report. That concludes our mission for today. We should head back now. Do 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 do. Midnight chat. Wait. Dark hour. Tiny child? Sorry to wake you. That's not tiny child. Um, I'm not sure how to say this, but you need to go to the fourth floor. And please hurry. Uh oh. Okay. What's going on? Yamagishi detected a presence. Other persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other persona users? You don't mean Strega. <sighs> They're still alive. <laughs> Those bastards! The dark hour doesn't go away, and now Strega's back. What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? No, she's she's inside. <laughs> What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori. She hijacked the transmission. I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <clears throat> Yamagishi. I'm okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? Junpei let her out. <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! What? Junpei, come back! This is almost certainly a trap. But it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. Let's go. Chidori, what's going on? Talk to me. <sighs> Doing this doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I'm not that smart. And I've done a lot of stupid things. But this, this is wrong. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Junpei-kun. Look out! Oh. Hey, that was close. You could have killed someone there. I think that was the point. Yori. Why? Get back, Junpei. Talking won't solve anything now. It's too 
too dangerous. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. But please, just back up. Medea. This isn't where I belong. I've known that. I'm Party so time. We're not gaining theurgy. It could have been. One step at a time. This will do the trick. Goodness. This pain is nothing compared to the suffering I'm feeling inside. I haven't even hit you. This is nothing. Now we're just going to smack her around a bit. You started this. Big counter. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. My possessions, my life, everything. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei, 
You brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Shidori. That sense. What is it? A gun. It's the others from Straka. How did they? Bastards. You just don't know when to give up. <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. It is. I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by that. Hey, not Nolan. Ha Nolan? Not Nola. How's it going? Speaking of how's it going, Gallium, thank you for the raid, friend. How are you doing? What were y'all doing? What were y'all up to? How are y'all? He's the most Jesus of Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was chosen. I was chosen. Bastard. Nip, nip, nip. I'm not letting you do this to her anymore. I'll protect Chidori with my life. Chupe. Chidori, come with me. Don't stay with these guys. Junpei, look out! Junpei's gonna cast gun! What? Junpei... Damn. He cast a gun. I'd like to point out this is a Tartarus remix. I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh -huh. I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I... I realized what I wanted. And... What's that? I... want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... um... Uh, I... I want to be with you, too. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chiori. That's why this is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? Die? What? It will? Hey, sexy. How's it going? Junpei-kun! Junpei! It's her persona. Does it have the power to bestow life? I don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But wait! 
If she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh! <laughs> Chidori! <sighs> so it worked. I can hear you. The sound of... That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. <sighs> this might be all I ever need. Just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. Meaningless? My, that was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. Takaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on it. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. trusted you with this life don't just throw it away <sighs> Chidori Chidori I I oh God this is so hard but it's not just my life anymore Junpei Everyone was silent as we walked back to the dorm together. No one could find the right words to say to Junpei.
Oh, look, the happy music. We're back. And now it's just another day. <laughs> I can't believe that uh, Junpei had his own Kamiki social link. Should have started blasting. We well, see our guns don't shoot, and also plot armor. Marvelous. I'm looking for. Here are my requests. Let's hear the res Enjoy your sushi. You have Ergotite chunk, huh? You wanna go hang out? Gosh, damn it! <laughs> it do be just another day. <laughs> just like when uh, Mitsuru's dad died. Immediate next day, we get super happy upbeat music. The world continues. Even if Junpei would rather it not. I wonder if we can check on him. I tried. Yeah, yeah. Junpei has plans and can't go to Tartarus. I can't believe Junpei already has plans. How dare he? Am I the villain? I think I'm the villain. I might be the villain, guys. Hydrate. It occurs to me that I just might be the villain. Hmm? Oh, you can keep buying them? The fuck? <laughs> you're not a villain, you're just ours. You're right. You be the die hero. Oh, okay. So this lets you uh, boost social links at night. Okay, dope. You be the die hero or live long enough to see yourself become the blue cat. Ninja hideout. Nin nin. Experience day will take place over the next four days. Experience week. Sorry. Iwatodai Strip Mall. Wild Duck Burger. Good morning. Morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. 
Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. For the next four days, I'll be helping out with cleaning. I worked hard to get used to the job. When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Yeah, yeah. I don't like this. This is too real. For some reason, Tomochika is in front of the restaurant. Oh, hey. Uh, morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place, too. You, too. Uh, yeah. So, I guess we both picked the same place for the internship program. Uh-huh. You're already a step ahead of me, though. I overslept like hell. Oh, that's your problem. Oh, damn it. Oh, I really screwed this one up. <sighs> Little buddy. Coming in late on my first day, they're going to be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? You suck it up. You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. No, 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 Why am I so nice to him? Back me up. I can't just tell them I overslept. Tell him your mom died. There's been enough deaths this week. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good, and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh... Please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. <sighs> I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please. Fine. Dude, for real? Oh, I owe you my life, man. Yeah, you do. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will. Oh, there you are. Working hard. I try. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika. <laughs> well, uh, you see... Busted! Slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez. First someone skipping out, and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? <laughs> what? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize right now. Wait, now? Right I meow. Gather my thoughts first and, um... Right this meow it. And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. You all right by yourself? Not even in the slightest. But I'm the one who got myself into this. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. I'll actually set my alarm. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <laughs> <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, uh -huh. have you heard anything from Iori? I 
No. I see. The very least he could do is call out or something. Oh well. You should get back to work. Got it, boss. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service. Jobs. Oh yeah. I don't like this. This is too real. I think I'm starting to get the hang of working here. Oh, there you are. Oh, you, trouble. Are you also in duck attire? No. Hey. Uh, excuse You're me. Pretty good. I would have thought you've been working here for years. What are you doing here? Well, my internship ended a little early. I was getting hungry, so I thought I'd stop by. Looks like you're doing all right. What was what was that sigh? Oh, it's nothing. No, what was that sigh? I don't mind. Uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. Dope. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so. So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me. We got time. <sighs> I'm far too good at it. Shouldn't you be working? They said I should take my break now, too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. I don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? Debatable. Go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei Kun. Yori? Are you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Ah, uh, that's a question for him. Yeah, I guess I should have, but I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Oh, I am the fakest. I am the fakest of fakes. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. You can blame my parents. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. Are you sure about that? He helped me a lot too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry. I'm sure Yori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, <coughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, Snap with RBF? Go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei Kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? Yeah. 
I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. Yeah, fair. Before, but what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Seeing Julie but are you okay? That had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... I don't like it. Seeing you, seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. I don't need luck. I'm a master. Rio, you left and I got back to work. The four days of internship done, I headed back to the dorm. <gasps> it's my prizes! Junpei still not feeling well. That's... <sighs> Shit, sorry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Strega bad murder, Strega. Junpei has plans. I wonder what his plans are. Hi, doggy. No, I got like four hours of sleep. Same. A soul refresh. <laughs> oh, I'm just on the spectrum. <laughs> That's not fair, because I don't have a poker face. I am a very expressive cat. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. This is what I was waiting on. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. God, I can't believe Anja's feeling meh right now. It's crazy. Oh, maybe I shouldn't just assume you're having fun. <laughs> Junpei went home early. Poor little buddy. You have to ask him, I can't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Completely unrelated, but I'd like to talk to you about something. If you don't mind, can you spare some time? Yeah! Then go hang out with Empress. So, um, Wait, she brought us the ramen? I need to know the etiquette of this place. Are there any customs? Absolutely fuck with her. Oh, that wouldn't be very nice though. But it's rank one, so nothing you say here matters. Don't let it get soggy. Oh, understood. So it's important to eat quickly then. Sounds sensible. I imagine said eagerness shows respect to the chef as well. In some places? Now then. Is Japan one of those places? I have no idea. I think I think China is one of those places. Hmm. What a fascinating flavor. 
I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? <laughs> Mr. What? Chef de Cuisine? Talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. Oh, it's both of them. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chefs. What do you use for the bouillon? The what? Bouillon. What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss. Can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means... <sighs> She's a, such a rich girl! I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for... She is... Oh, sorry, um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? <laughs> Very. <laughs> nah. Oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> no! <laughs> I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. I want you to know, you say ramen sandwich, the first thing it pops... The first thing it pops in my mind is, uh, two of the, like, dehydrated packs of noodles. <laughs> it's just, like, they're the bu they're the bread it with filling in the middle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so cursed. The style of restaurant is new to me, too. So, I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. That's literally what popped in my head, Arth. To return here in the future. Final social link. Cheesy spicy ramen burger. That sounds dope as shit. Chin up, Junpei. I know. So, what you want? This came from the hospital. Is this Chidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um. <sighs> I know. I gotta snap out of this, but it's just so hard. Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. What the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Portrait of Junpei san. Sorry. He did not need that right now. <laughs> My man. Junpei. <laughs> it's 
like she's telling me to stop moping around. Yeah, that. Junpei kun. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the dark hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but just know I'll be counting on you. <laughs> Please don't. Blaze of Life. Junpei. My friends are all smiling with tears in their eyes. I sense a strong bond with them. One more. much farther I can go without going she is very impressed swear to god we'll go tomorrow then buddy we'll go tomorrow Fucking impressed, swear to God. Beep, 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 beep. All right, we got a text message. It's from him. Goodbye. I mean, I have the money for Tanaka. <laughs> Why are we all demons? Fuck. That's fair. I'm going back to my room. use computer <laughs> but Arthas isn't what you want to draw the f never mind
Is Junpei good to go yet? Uh-huh. Bet. We've waited long enough. I have a lot of incense cards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the next floor just to see what it looks like. Okay, it. And then we're gonna go ahead and raid out. Uh -huh. Cause we are over time. This place is wild and Well, if you see it too, it's clearly not my catnip. This place is fucking weird. Anyway, let's go find us a raid target. Shall we? <coughs> Damn it. Mm, let us see. <laughs> That's fucking wild. I just suck at a lot of things. My options were very <laughs> limited. <laughs> Hmm. It's not a <laughs> it's not a very big list. Ooh. 
we may have gone over to this one before, but I'm going to send you all over there anyway. Don't tell the other. We're going to go over to Ambriel Drake's channel. Uh, she is a vampire a dark elf VTuber, and she is currently playing Pokemon game. So I'm going to send y'all over there. Y'all show her all the love in the world. And I will catch you guys tomorrow with more snooze that ad with more persona. No, it's actual Pokemon. You silly. I can't spell. Did y'all know I couldn't spell? Did y'all know I couldn't read? Uh, there's your thing. You already know. We love our little silly thing. And with that, I will catch you all tomorrow with more silly. See y'all then.